death penalty is a threat. I mean, it says, listen, you go do something really bad, you know, treason, murder, and we're going to kill you. Or at least there's a real danger. There's a real threat. We're threatening you. We're going to kill you. Well, that, in some primitive level, it makes sense to us. We say, well, if someone knows that there is such a threat, they should be less likely to engage in murder, for instance. Well, the truth is it doesn't work. It hasn't worked at all. And as a matter of fact, the evidence, if you look at a number of different countries, as, I'm, as I've done and described in the book, is that the more the death penalty is used, the higher the murder rate. Not the lower, the higher. Now, why is that? Well, there are a number we don't know for sure, a number of reasons. One of them that seems to be that it adds a component to society that says life isn't really all that important. Rather than saying it is important and hence we're going to kill anyone who kills someone else, what it says is life is really pretty cheap and we're going to go ahead and kill people to show you that you're not supposed to kill people. And that makes killing in an odd way more acceptable. Not, you know, not that we go around saying it's acceptable, but it has that indirect and unintended effect. So I'll give one more, let me give you one more of uh, dealing with um, society versus people, and that's the threat of hell, okay? Um, many religions, but actually particularly some of the um, more fundamentalist forms of Christianity, and particularly in Catholicism, have for a very long time used the threat of eternal punishment, not just being executed, for instance, but eternal damnation and being burned in hell and all this array of horrible stuff to try to keep people on the straight and narrow. Now, it may work in some cases. It's quite possible, I think, that some people do, in fact, behave, quote, better because they don't want to spend eternity in hell. Well, I, mean, I wouldn't want to spend eternity in hell either. If I believed in hell, I guess that would influence me. But even for those people who do believe in it, often what happens is they wind up with horrible feelings of guilt and anxiety because no one leads a perfect life. And so here we have, again, this, this organized societal, or particularly religion-based, but nonetheless societal threat um, that I, uh, results, I'm almost sure, in uh, substantial amounts of misery, guilt, anxiety, um, and one more, one yet, yet one more example of a, a counterproductive uh, response.